Venezuela es mi hogar. Venezuela es alegría. Venezuela es familia. Venezuela es única. Quiero que el mundo vea mi hogar, que exploren sus paisajes y rían con su gente. Quiero que el mundo sienta su sol y escale sus montañas más altas. Quiero que el mundo monte a caballo por el país y se haga amigo de los animales. Quiero que el mundo sienta el poder de los relámpagos y las gotas de las cascadas más altas. Quiero que el mundo baile, cante y cree recuerdos para toda la vida. Somos tu familia. No es perfecta. Pero sí una familia llena de tanta alegría y vida. ¿Te recuerdas? Del lugar donde tus padres se enamoraron. Del lugar donde aprendiste a montar bicicleta. Del lugar donde viste el mar por primera vez. Si te hace falta tu hogar o eres uno de los curiosos, este mensaje es para ti. Venezuela es esperanza. Venezuela es hermosa. Venezuela es aventura. Venezuela es Okay, well that was the end of my Venezuela film. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys for watching. I get a bunch of Instagram DMs about how I put my films together. So I thought I might do a short breakdown in this video to kind of tell you the process that I go through from start to finish. So, other than actually getting out there, traveling and shooting, one of the first things that I do in my creative process is to find music. One of the things that helps me do this is the sponsor of today's video, Artlist. Finding music is really difficult. So if you are looking to make it easier for yourself, Artlist is such an incredible tool for that. Next up, I then frame my song around the concept that I have. So usually I'll splice it up, maybe make it a little bit shorter or potentially elongating the song by just overlapping certain sections of the song to make it blend into each other. Then once I put the footage over the music, I then add the voiceover, which especially for this film was one of the most important parts of the process. I then add sound effects, which again, I go back into Artlist and usually just search exactly what I'm looking for and spend a little bit of time searching through and finding the right ones for me. I then download them and drag and drop them into my timeline and play around with the volume to make it really stand out, but also not stand out too much. And then the final thing that I do in my creative process that is my personal favorite part of the process is color grading. So I thought I might give you some before and afters to show you how I do it. Okay. If you're still watching after this, then you are out of this world. It really means a lot. To let me know that you're watching, maybe comment in the comments what home means to you. I feel like it'd be really interesting to hear your perspective on that. And uh, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna hear it. Catch you later. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.